Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing the wig reveal that I've talked about for ages. It's about time I do it. We have a little guest star today. Drum roll, please. Gianna Massiello! <laughs> Hello everyone. Sorry I am yelling. the infamous at Gab's Mass's sister. Gianna, I yes. don't have a cool handle, but Gianna will do. Gianna underscore mass yellow. Yes. Ding, ding. Okay, so what are we gonna do today? Are we gonna do the wig reveal? So we're doing the wig reveal, baby. Let's go. And so I wanted to bring Gianna in on this video. She really wanted to add some perspective and give a little bit of her side to the story. So take it away. Okay, so um, I was here in with Gabriella four years ago when she was diagnosed initially, and I was here the day. Well, we had a whole wig. Like, what did we have? A whole shaving party for her. A shaving party and for me. All the men in my family shaved their heads. It was the iconic. most beautiful thing. It was iconic, but it was such a beautiful moment for me. It was amazing. So anyway, so. Um, that first time that Gabriella shaved her head four years ago, we all went to dinner right after. And Gabriella went completely bald. No beanie, no wig, nothing. Just like went. And we were all like, oh my god. Here's a picture of the head shaving party. There you go. And so, so we all went to dinner and it was just like, probably one of the strongest moments that I saw Gabriella in like these past, you know, since she was diagnosed first, it was like amazing. Just like seeing her, how strong she was and like just walking through that restaurant, like she had a whole head of hair. It was, it was amazing. So anyway, I didn't have hair, but you walked like you did. Oh. So, um, so that whole time when she was first diagnosed four years ago, she kind of embraced the bald. She was very, you know, didn't wear I didn't wigs. really care what anyone thought of me back then, and I also wasn't surrounded by people my age. I was mostly surrounded by my family, and so I wasn't, I didn't really care about other people around me, what they had to say about my hair, but now it's a little more difficult because I'm in a college town, and there's a lot of people my age, and People aren't really that nice. Yeah, people are kind of judgmental, and you know they stare. I'm sure. I don't really. Yes, I, they do. You know more than anyone. Adults stare too. I mean, that's nothing to it, but they stare in a very uncomfortable way. Yeah, and it kind of makes you feel a little insecure and a little kind of like an outcast. So, I mean, that's why ever since she was re-diagnosed this time around, she wears wigs all the time you know and she looks beautiful and it makes her happy and that's all that kind of matters you know so it's like um a lot of people say you know just take it off just embrace the ball blah 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 and it's like she did that once now she's not going to do it again <laughs> no it's just it's hard and that's something that has to come from her because it's very this even though it seems very kind of easy for her to do this kind of wig reveal or wig, wig removal <laughs> um it's kind of, it's difficult for her because, I mean, I've seen her try and show off to her best friends, like, that she was, when she was bald, like, and it was, like, difficult, like, she was crying to me about how hard it is I to show them. I cried and cried and cried, it's really hard, I practiced with my sister and with people, like, my family, I practiced taking off a wig and seeing how they reacted and I wanted their, like, natural reaction, and, I mean... The fact that I even had to go through that like breaks yeah. my heart. Yeah. Like I feel sorry for myself. It's sad. It's it's unfortunate that like, you know, it's just that it, we live in a world yeah. that I feel that I'll get judged. Yeah. I mean, even hair. even though it, I don't think you thought your friends would judge you, no, but it's like no. just showing that part of, you know, when you look like this and it's like I don't really look like that and then you take it off and it's like a whole different it's, it's a like whole a different, different person. Thing. It, yeah. It's like removing a layer of your skin. I mean, it just it's a very personal thing for me, you know. I, like there are supermodels that shave their head and it's totally fine, but for me it's more of 
cancer took hair from me and it's very hard for me to accept that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's very hard, especially because I'm very into beauty and fashion or whatever. And I just, I really, most women, their hair is their life. So yeah, their hair hard. is, a, it's very important to people. And so it's hard for mm -hmm. that to be taken away. And so, um, so yeah, so I find that this, that I'm so proud of you for doing this and for um, finally kind of shedding that layer and taking off the wig and showing people that even though you look amazingly beautiful with the wig, that she looks just as beautiful without it. And um, I'm excited for everyone to see. Mm -hmm. So, shall we get to it? Let's get to it, ladies and gents. All right. Well, I'm going to cover up the camera and then when I remove my hand, She's not gonna have the wig on! Oh my god. Which, okay. what, what's that? Like, viewer discretion is advised. Oh god, as if. Anyway, okay, ready? Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god! <laughs> did you surprise yourself? I did. I was like, who the heck is that in the camera? This is. The real Gab Mass. This is the real Gabrielle Mass Yellow. Not a lot of people have seen this side of me. It's so beautiful. You guys were probably, soft. it's very soft. You guys were probably expecting me to be completely bald um, with these new chemo pills that I've been doing. My hair has been growing back. I mean, look at my eyelashes. Look at them. I mean, that's insane. There was a point that my eyelashes, I had no eyelashes and I was crying over it. I looked like a complete alien, I thought. So that was hard, but yeah, so my hair is growing back. I look like a little boy. It's kind of cute. It's super cute. She mm. literally looks like one of those models that actually shaped their head for like for the look. Mm. She has the perfect head for it. If anybody, you know, like, look at this. It's like a perfect circle. It's beautiful. I don't know. I do. Yeah, so this is it. Um, I am actually, I, at first I said I was dreading this video and then I said I was excited. And I am very excited to be doing this. You guys that have been watching all my videos and constantly supporting me, it really means a lot. Um, you guys have come along with me on this journey just within the past, what has it been? Two months? Mm -hmm. Within the past two months and I feel like you guys are just like so supportive and just so kind and it takes a lot for me to show my best friends like how I look without my wig and the fact that I'm comfortable showing you guys it really does say a lot and I want you to know how special it is and how meaningful it is and I feel like <coughs> sorry I feel like I mean I hear people tell me you know like oh my god I've seen like your sister's videos and her vlogs and like it makes me so happy because I know how happy it makes her and I'm just like freaking out inside. I'm like her little kind of like um, advertiser that's like, like and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Like set your notifications because it's like, uh, it makes her so happy. Like all your freaking subscribes, all your likes, all your amazing comments of positivity <laughs> literally makes her shine. Like look at that face. And you can't, so happy. I can't make that happen. Like, you guys oh make God. that happen. I did like cry. My eyes are getting watery. It's so true. You guys seriously, like, make her world, and she wouldn't be here doing this. Like, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. If it wasn't for your support and your love and your sharing the videos and everything like that, and it, like, is amazing. Like, 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 she's reaching out to all you guys and doing all this for you, kind of to get an insight in her life. and you know, people who are going through this, it's probably so difficult, you know, having either alopecia, cancer, or any other disorder, and it's like, it's so hard. And it's like, you know, she's trying to describe how hard it is for her, and just, it's amazing. She's helping you guys, and you guys are seriously helping her, and it's I amazing. Know. I know, I truly appreciate it. When I see all the, the comments, the likes, the subscribes, I'm just like, wow, like, this many people, like, care enough about me to follow my journey i mean it it just blows my mind i'm truly grateful for it like beyond words i mean it's, i don't have any more words I, I i just said it all out i know you said that very beautifully and very accurately like truly so really thank you guys so much thank you guys seriously 
Yeah, and you know, making these videos, I have so much fun with it, and especially seeing your comments like, oh, like, you should do this in a video, you should do that, like, it just inspires me to do so much more. So can you guys do me a favor and comment below with personal stories? Did you lose your hair to alopecia, to cancer, to any other disease? Let me know and tell me how you're coping with it, or do you embrace the bald, or do you wear a wig, or something else I don't know of? And then also, the second favor I'm asking for you guys is I want you to comment below if you have any ideas for future videos for me. If you want me to do a day in the life some people have asked for, some people have asked for another Q&A, just let me know. She has a great day in the life. You should do that. Someone I, I want one. If, if anybody doesn't write it, I want to see it. You want to see my day in the life? Yeah. I do. Without me, because I know what it is when it's with me. We just hang out and have fun. <sighs> My best friend, everyone. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, please, she loves you guys. And thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you, Love guys. to be here. I hope you guys enjoyed my little guest audience. <laughs> or guest star. Star. Guest I'm a star. star. She's a star. Superstar. Alrighty. Well, have a great day, guys. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have an awesome day. Do something amazing. Do something amazing today, guys. Mwah. Hello everyone, this is my first take on the Canon G3. Alright. Ah, the quality is so good. Obviously not right now. Uh, check it out. Check it out, check it out. I'm a vlogger, baby. A vlogger. I am a vlogger. I'm so distracted because I keep looking up here at myself and not here at the camera. So, this is gonna be really hard. 